do you have a security team? Do you have a security leader? Do you have a security person? Or is Bob over in networking also managing all of the security aspects for the organization? Governance Control 2, your security workforce. Does the information security roles and responsibilities, are they coordinated and aligned with internal and external parties? Now, are the roles loosely defined and communicated? Are they are these jobs done as a kind of like a, a second hat for somebody else? Kind of looking at the maturity of, of the space or the role and, the, and, and security within your organization is the program established so that resources are actually then just tasked directly with researching effective solutions and then roles and responsibilities are fully understood, managed. Is it somebody's job? Is it their job? Do you have a security team? Do you have a security leader? Do you have a security person? Or is Bob over in networking also managing all of the security aspects for the organization? Um, in order to be really effective, you know, the larger the organization you become, or even smaller, you really need somebody kind of riding herd, taking ownership and managing the security strategy, then seeing down through the organization that the implementation of security is happening. There are a number of other controls that tie directly into this. In fact, not having a security role and responsibility aligned, at least to your internal people, makes handling any of the execution or the tactical aspects that are outlined in really any security control framework, very, very difficult. Critical security controls outlines um, really kind of two things. One, do you have and have you assigned job titles, right? And do you have a CISO um, identified? Uh, regulations are now really pointing to and pushing this second one here. Actually, in fact, the first one as well, New York State DFS being a predominant example and becoming the model law for other states to all adopt. Do you have a CISO identified? And that can be either internally or outsourced. Um, do you have all the assigned job titles implemented into your organization? When you look at the rest of the NIST framework, you'll see that there are training aspects. Do all the security personnel understand their role and their responsibility? Are they trained on it? If you don't have somebody in that space, you're going to then follow on and fail this control, which would be unfortunate. Same thing for your response efforts. Are the communication capabilities aligned and appropriately um, coordinated with security personnel and external personnel? And then we'll see later on as we get into the new security or the new NIST controls that they've put out there around supply chain, there's a heavy emphasis on working with these external partners on the role of security, both internal to your organization and external. What are your vendors doing, right? So you've got yourself, you've got your vendors. Your ability to handle this, back to the GV1, uh, which is does your policy, um, how is that implemented, is going to have a direct effect on your organization and any third parties that you have. It should account for both of these. Really needs to be all encompassing. If your approach around security is just, I will take care of this and my third parties are responsible for themselves, you are missing the goals of what a security program should have, what your people should be focusing on. Because as we see within the news cycles, the third party risk to your organization is just as important, if not more important, because we're seeing the breaches come through third parties, the less secured, right? No one's watching and just implicitly entrusting that this is completely okay and that our third parties have all of our best interests in mind and all of their protections are probably as good, if not better, than our own. That is the wrong assumption to be making. You need to have an all-encompassing security policy, a program, and your people addressing the entire ecosystem in which you live in and you touch. Governance uh, control number two, again, the security roles and responsibilities are coordinated and aligned with both internal and external partners.